in the part of the people, it really emerges from the beginning works. And the beginning works I did were usually multi-frame stories. Like this was a three-part story. And I liked it because it was about uh, people finding a way to solve their problems. And it looks almost like it's from the, the 20s or the 30s during the Depression. And it also has the feeling of like labor organizing. And it also has the feeling of, of the time when people were speaking out and gathering and, and marching. It's like a didactic story, but it comes out of the theater of Bertolt Breck, who did plays to try to uh, empower people. And I think this little image, is, this picture story, is about empowering and about uh, our own abilities that we don't realize we have. Now, the part of the people began many years ago. This um, small work here was how I did my, my beginning. I love telling the, the multi-panel story. So there's a man out of work, then there's no jobs, then he's reading in the paper that there's a big march and the hotel is filled up. Then he joins the march. It's all people unite. So you can see how crude it was. That's how I drew. It was almost like stick drawings and then just colors. And these I printed, you know, I, I was still learning so that it's a very rough uh, silk screen. From on one of these uh, panels, one of these serographs, I started drawing. I started drawing the figures. I thought, oh, I'd like to make it more lively because I like this piece, but not everyone liked it because it seems so drab. So I started adding colors and more colors. Then I started adding little pictographs all around it. And so on this, on, so this particular work, I turned it into this work. And this is just a, a facsimile that was printed by uh, the, they took my painting, they scanned it, and I decided to make, make it bigger because I felt that it would, it would be easier to read the lettering. So the way I've got the story, he's standing in line trying to get a job uh, and he's on a waiting list. Then here he is in the big scene or, uh, trying to find a job. There's no jobs. Then here is the hotel. There's no room in the hotel, but it's filled with people. Then here he is in the march. And then here's this big city with all these people, and they're filing into the city in, through the streets. And then all the town is, is waving flags. And then here's another part of the town. They're also joining, and they're all marching to try to get health care, housing, uh, jobs for people, registering to, to vote. Now, th this is like an idea how, as a group, people can help solve the problems. So I have people here working in the inner city and working in dilapidated apartments, trying to repair and reconstruct and help people. Then they also work in the parks and in the areas where they need better uh, improvement. Then he's writing a letter and he's saying how difficult it is, but one has to persist. And then here is the soup kitchen. He says, we help others. We share what we have. So everyone's working to help solve the problem. Here are people in collective bargaining. We work out our differences. We listen to each other. And then here are the people getting together, talking about what it's like and how they can develop plans. Here is a school where they're learning to be leaders and also to give themselves more training. I'm excited about this because it took me a long time. It was many years to develop that drawing and keep working on it. And I didn't think I could finish it, but then finally I finished it and I'm so happy because people like it and they see the relevance of it to today.